in a few sentences, I would say that punk is, is a hard one, actually. I guess punk for me has always been like the kind of fringe culture or you know, the kind of people that push the limits a little bit by doing stuff that is maybe you're not supposed to do. <laughs> the group of people that it is is like, A, that's like, they're really nice. Like, I feel like that group in general like is really tight-knit, like punk as a community. And it, yeah. it's important to keep that together, I think. It's almost more of an ideology, I think, than it is a music uh, genre. There's always like the defining features of punk music that they'd say, I guess, on Wikipedia if you look it up, like it's fast, power chords, um, whatever. But for me, it's more about the ideology. And I, that's part of the reason why I like folk punk, because I think folk music is inherently punk, because a lot of it at its root is protest music. If I had to define punk, I would say that punk is sincere. You hear people like being accused of like being posers and stuff, and you know trying to gatekeep on like how punk something is, but that's really, um, you know, the, the least punk thing you could do um, because punk is, it's anything. Yeah, punk can, it can be anything. It doesn't even have to be you know punk music. Like in a lot of ways, um, you know, modern hip hop is more punk than you know Green Day. Yeah. The counterculture is like a huge element to it, um, but it's, it's not just counterculture, because obviously um, Nazi punks aren't punk. <laughs> Nazi punks can fuck um, off. Just like being edgy, that's that's not what punk is. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's being sincere, but also uh, just being like totally opposed to any form of oppression. Yeah, accepting. Like, and yeah, yeah, accepting and, and just um, basically like minding your own fucking business. <laughs> My biggest uh, influence, I would say, is Kurt Cobain, so it's sort of like, it's always been about freedom, it's always been about the ability to express yourself completely. It's, it's the freedom to go to a party as a dude wearing a tutu and no one's gonna bat an eye. Oh yeah. Sure. That's punk. Everyone has this stupid idea of like what punk means. It could be stud counts, it could be like, it, it could be just getting drunk and being racist and rude. That's 40 year old punks for you. Or it, it could just, you know, be having the opportunity to be different. In reality, um, I, I, I suppose it's just the ability to have um, some level of emotional connection or freedom from, from what like, you'd normally find your norm. It's closely aligned with anarchy. It's, the, it's, it's where the weird people can conglomerate and talk about how we might change the world for the better, you know? It's the creative element of our culture that's always looking for new boundaries to push. Definitely in Houston, um, our community is like very open. We're tight. Um, yeah, tight without being without being exclusive. Yeah. Like you show up and like and people are gonna hug you come on. and dance with you and cheer you on when you pull out some crazy mosh skills. <laughs> No Nazis, though. Yeah, no Nazis. I love it here. Uh, there's so, there's a lot of bands, and the, my favorite part about the bands is they all really come out and support each other. You know, we go to each other's shows, and we're, we're not strangers in the scene. There's so many fucking good bands in Houston, dude. Not even just punk bands, just... There's really good music in Houston, and mm. like I would go to the show even if they weren't my friends, but they're my friends, so it's it's even cooler. And that's what House of Jay's vision is essentially: is like we want bands to have low cost to come in here and play, and uh, you know everyone from the community is familiar, and we have you know gardening days and and uh, clean, we cleaned up this garage, you know, with some help from 
Paul over there and some other people, and uh, we're trying to bring the community to be a part of the venue as well. We're, we're pro providing a space for them to like sell their art and uh, play their music. Yeah, we want it to be like an honest manifestation of like whatever like the sum of the culture is. Like, come and fucking donate your energy, to donate your vision to to this to this space, and let it be Houston's punk scene. Like that's what House of J represents. <laughs> This is probably the most hype house show that I've played, maybe ever. <laughs> it's kind of unmatched. I think like the only other show that we've played where there were like an entire living room of people moshing like that was up in uh, Illinois. Houston is like a good hub for us and there's a very thriving punk scene. And cities like that, the reason they have a thriving punk scene is usually because there's a lot of really great local punk bands there that play and curate it and then they bring their friends through. We threw some big shows here at first and we've gotten more serious about it recently, but I, I honestly live for the shit when I just like see some some dude who hasn't really been to shows much and he just has the best fucking night of his life. That's what motivates the hell out of yeah, me. Is like I want to find those sure. outlier kids and give them a place to to come and rock and feel safe and uh, you know be themselves. If you sit down and you're like, I am here, I'm not nervous, I'm not, I'm not worrying about going into a panic shock or something like that. I'm just happy. That's punk as fuck. There was a, there was a time at one of, one of the shows, a couple of shows ago, and there was like eight kids just all over the yard. <laughs> and I remember just standing like in the middle of the garden, just looking at everyone and like thinking that we did that. Like we created the space for people to come together and fucking have a good time. And we're supposed to believe that humans are fucking pieces of shit and we're just like be at each other's throats if it was if we're just left in anarchy and like here we are trying to like create an anarchist sort of punk space and this is what humans are capable of just coming together yeah, and creating awesome culture. We can work a nine to five job and not feel satisfied, but I I always feel satisfied when we put on a show here and we allow people to express or express themselves and you know opportunities to sell their art and connect. In the long run, over time, I've been disappointed in my music scene, but I hope that um, through these like house shows that we're doing tonight, that we can make it a safer spot because in reality, it's totally capable. You know, racist and homophobes should be afraid uh, and shouldn't feel comfortable at shows. I don't care who's there. I'd like a lot of people to be there, but regardless, there could be one person there. I'm, I still want to play my songs. There definitely is like a huge aspect of like it not just being for the audience, but being for ourselves. Yeah. On top of that, it's just like it's a rush. The people that that do show up, um, oh, they're great. They're there like because, you know, they, they want to see you. Whether or not there's a few people, I mean, if they're paying attention and enjoying the music, I'll play. I put it that way. It's like the audience being huge isn't necessary to have a good show, but the audience being attentive is. I would say. I don't like playing on a big stage where there's a disconnect between myself and my fans. Um, I like to be able to like jump in the pit with them and be able to connect with them on a personal level and see eye to eye. And when I'm like up on a stage, I feel like I'm on like a platform and then people are like, oh, like, look at this, like, you know, it's like a weird thing, like, oh, that's a rock star, they're up there and I can't touch them. But um, a big part of the reason why I love punk music is that it's tangible.
that was on the next shit.